In this section, we focus on the electrical wiring. For electrical installation, the supply line must be connected to an existing installation and must comply with local regulations. National and international installation standards must be observed. Don't forget to most countries require a C-curve circuit breaker and a type A or B Hertz leakage switch. As for the sizing of the supply line, this must be carried out in accordance with the national regulation in force. The charging station does not have a main switch, the Hertz leakage circuit breaker ELCB and the power line circuit breaker act as a main connection. To carry out the electrical installation, you first need to have the necessary amount of pipe to run the wiring from the electrical panel to the charger. Once the route has been established, a guide is used to run the tube through which the electrical wiring will pass. The tube is then correctly positioned using clamps and the route is followed. The guy is then reinserted into the tube already installed to put the cable through. The electrical connection takes account of whether the installation is single phase or three phase. If the installation is a single phase, the wiring is connected as follows. The yellow wire to us, the blue wire to neutral and the brown or in the case gray while to the hail terminal. If the installation is three phase, the yellow cable is connected to hers, the blue cable to neutral, the brown cable to phase air, the black cable to phase S, and the gray cable to phase T. Then connect the Ethernet cable to an RG45 connector and this to the control board. In the next session, we will look at how to install it. Finally, it's important to fit the Matic Relight protector.